K-18 Karelia is a 667B DRM Delphin-class nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine project currently in service with the Russian Navy. It was built in Severodvysk by Sevmash Shipbuilding Company and entered service in 1989. It was reinstalled from 2004 to 2009, after which it returned to the Navy. K-18 Karelia has a length of 167.4 meters 549 feet overall, a beam of 11.7 meters 38 feet, and a draft of 8.8 .8 meters 29 feet. It displaces 18,200 tons, 17,900 long tons, 20,100 short tons, and has a test dive depth of 550 to 650 meters 1,800 to 2,130 feet. The complement is approximately 135 to 140. The ship is powered by two VM4 180 megawatts, 240,000 horsepower, pressurized water reactors that drive two shafts with seven blade fixed pitch propellers. She can achieve a top speed of 14 knots, 26 kilometers per hour, 16 miles per hour, when surfacing and 24 knots, 44 kilometers per hour, 28 miles per hour, when submerged. The ship is equipped with 16 R29RM still, 8,300 kilometers, 5,200 mile, range or R29RM Ucinova, 11,547 kilometers, 7,175 mile, range of submarine launched ballistic missiles, RPK-7 Vettery anti-ship missiles and 4533 Mbao tubes to launch up to 12 torpedoes or 24 mines. Karelia was established at the Sevmash shipyard in February 1987 and was launched in 1988. It is named after a region in northwestern Russia and eastern Finland. He was commissioned into the Soviet Navy in 1989, and after the dissolution of the Soviet Union, he was transferred to the Russian Navy. Karelia underwent Zvezdochka shipyard modernization in northern Russia between 2004 and 2009. The submarine had 100 new components added which included the TVR671RM torpedo rocket system and the RSM-54 Sinova SLBM. Other improvements include reduced noise, better tracking vessel capacity, and better survivability. The submarine has fired more than 14 rockets and traveled more than 140,000 nautical miles, 260,000 kilometers, 160,000 miles. In April 2000, Vladimir Putin, then the acting president of Russia, spent the night in the submarine at a depth of more than 50 meters, and supervised the exercises of the Northern Fleet. Officials showed Putin how ballistic missiles were launched, and Putin became an honorary diver after he followed the traditional diver ritual of drinking seawater. On January 22, 2009, the Zvezdochka shipyard formally handed over the K-18 Karelia submarine to the Northern Fleet. The Project 667B DRM Dileta IV class submarine had been in overhaul since August 2004. It is now equipped with Sinova modification of the R-29RM missile. It was reported earlier that Karelia conducted 38 patrols and traveled 140,000 miles during its 15 years in service so far. This time the number of patrols is reported as 12 combat services and 26 combat duty patrols.
It's not quite clear what's the difference between these. The submarine also took part in 14 missile launch exercises. The Navy Chief, Admiral Vladimir Korolyov, said Friday in remarks carried by state RIA Novosti News Agency that Russian submarine crews spent more than 3,000 days on patrol last year, matching the Soviet-era operational tempo. Korolyov spoke after attending the launch of a new Yasin-class nuclear-powered attack submarine called the Kazan. The Russian military had fallen on hard times after the 1991 Soviet collapse when it was forced to scrap many relatively new ships and keep most others at harbor for lack of funds. The military has revived its strength thanks to a sweeping arms modernization program amid tensions with the West over Ukraine.